Hello world, my name is Andy Silvers and I just got a new camera. Alright, so this is just an unboxing video, it's not a review, but I just got this camera. It is a Panasonic Lumix uh, G85. It is an interchangeable Micro Four Thirds camera. No, it's not the newest camera on the block, but it is a significant upgrade over the camera I'm filming on right now. I will be using it for YouTubing, uh, photography, and uh, sh um, short films in the future. Uh, I just want to say before I begin the unboxing process that this channel is not currently monetized. So if you want to support the channel, please do by liking and subscribing. However, if you want to support me more directly, uh, keep in mind that I am also a professional author. I have three books out on Amazon and Barnes & Noble and other websites right this moment, and literally for all different ages. There is one for ages 3 to 6 called The Very Colorful Caterpillar, one for ages 8 to 12 called Red Sprites and Blue Jets, which is a coming-of-age story, and one for ages 16 and up, which is a bit like a Marvel, Marvel film. It's called uh, Solomon Grando vs. the Jupiter Witch. That one is available as well and is a contemporary fantasy. All of these books will be available at the link in the video description. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox this camera. Uh, this camera is a interchangeable mirrorless camera from Panasonic. Uh, this is the kit that comes with a, I believe, 12 to 60 millimeter lens, f3.5 at the widest. Uh, I believe it's to f5.6. Uh, f5 uh, so it is not the highest quality lens ever, but it is suitable for a lot of general uh, photography and videography applications. All right, so this is a lens hood. Again, one of the purposes is just to show and everything that comes with the camera. If you buy it exactly how I did from either B&H or Amazon. Uh, this is also new, not a used camera. So this is the paperwork that it comes with. It comes with a few different booklets. And it looks like a postage card, perhaps for if you want to return the product. The lens is right here. It's in its own separate plastic shroud. All right. I am pleased to report that it comes with an official Panasonic battery. Uh, the outer packaging of the shipping box implied that it had something like that with it, but I didn't think it was actually going to be there, and I'm really excited about it because those batteries, new, run for about $50 each, which if you need at least two, and you probably do, that's gonna rack up uh, pretty, pretty quickly in terms of price. Comes with a micro B to USB A cable, presumably for data transfer and perhaps charging. It comes with a charging brick for the wall to, to go with the cable. Let's see here. And this is really nice. This is an actual wall charger for the battery itself and any other Lumix battery. I actually have one right here that I have prepared. Uh, you typically want to buy the battery from the manufacturer itself, so in this case Panasonic, because even though it's going to cost you a bit more money, it's likely to be higher quality, which is definitely worth it, uh, because at first a cheaper knockoff battery might last really well, but then after a month, two months, three months, it begins to lose capacity very quickly. This is less likely to happen with a product from the official manufacturer. It also comes with a camera strap uh, with the word Lumix on it that most people are not likely to use. And of course, the body of the camera itself is also in the box. All right, that appears to be everything in the box. So here's the camera. It is, like I say, a relatively small mirrorless camera. Uh, the advantage of this camera over like a Canon Rebel is that it has much better video capabilities. Okay, it has much better video capabilities on average, um, including the 4K 24FPS uh, and 30FPS recording options. As I say, it has a Micro Four Thirds lens mount and, by extension, Micro Four Thirds sensor, which is roughly 17 millimeters across. For comparison, a full frame sensor is going to be roughly 36 millimeters across, so it's nowhere near as big, but it is still a very effective size. And uh, for comparison, the camera I'm filming on now 
has what's called a one over two thirds inch sensor, which is a very small sensor of about seven millimeters across. So it is a teeny tiny little sensor. A sensor that is bigger like this should theoretically be able to give you a bit uh, better low light product or low light images. Let's uh, show you a close up if possible. So it is not a huge sensor, but it is a lot bigger than on any smartphone you'll find, and of course on a lot of really inexpensive uh, mirrorless cameras like the one I'm filming on now called the Panasonic FZ1, uh, FZ300 rather, which is about $440 new right now. Um, this camera is about $700 new, and I've heard that it's about $350 to $400 used. So here is the lens, I'm trying to be gentle with it. Uh, it is a really versatile lens because of the focal lengths available. So it goes from 12 millimeters all the way to 60. Uh, I'm not sure what the full frame equivalent is exactly, but it is a nice focal length for general purpose photography and videography, giving you both a relatively wide field of view as well as a relatively telephoto field of view for when the application demands it. Uh, so this is a pretty nice lens. It has fairly good build quality from what I've heard. Uh, however, the focus ring is a focus by wire style. This is not a cinema lens, which is what I would prefer. But uh, at my budget range, I can't afford a $20,000 cinema lens or the $10,000 Zeiss 21 to 100, which is what I would prefer to have. However, this is still a very good uh, camera lens combination, especially for the type of work that I do. I'm excited to test it out, uh, both in images and videos, and see how it is. Uh, it does use an SD card slot. I don't believe it has two, uh, not at this price range anyway, but I will take a look real quick. Yep, so it uses a single battery, not surprising. And on the side of the camera is the SD card slot. I want to note, by the way, that my current camera doesn't work like that. And it's really irritating. Because when the SD card is on the bottom of the camera, you have to take it off the tripod and unscrew the mount in order to get to the card. Which is really, really unhelpful. This camera is going to be a huge upgrade just from that alone. Just being able to leave the camera on the tripod and still take out the SD card to review the footage. So that's a big deal, and I'm really excited about that. This camera is not the newest camera, so I won't do a traditional review of it, probably, unless you in the comments tell me you want one. But I suspect you won't because a lot of, um, a lot of uh, YouTubers have already done that. Instead, what I'm planning to do is a different kind of review, where I review the product from a more technical standpoint, talking about the technicalities of the sensor and imaging, and doing a video going in DaVinci Resolve, uh, I believe DaVinci Resolve 18, and doing a color correction sample. So I will tell you in that video what settings to use in 4K for the best, uh, most cinematic images, like highest dynamic range and such, and I will go into Resolve and show you some samples of how I would color correct the, the footage. I have a Bachelor of Science in Film, and I study uh, camera sensors rather extensively, so it should be an educational and in interesting video. Comment below if you actually want to, would want to see something like that. And I will use that sort of to gauge a bit of the interest and how fast and how promptly I actually produce said video. Anyway, that's about all for the unboxing. It's a pretty straightforward product and a straightforward video. Uh, it has a articulating 3-inch touchscreen. Uh, it's got a little flash on the top. Uh, it's pretty standard in a lot of ways, and I'm excited uh, to try it out in the coming days and weeks. Please like this video if you liked it, and uh, sub to the, to the channel as well. That would really mean a lot to me. Remember, I am an author as well. I have a lot of awesome books available in the video description, so check that out if you'd like to support me. And I will see you in the next video.